And good evening once again. We begin tonight in Brazil, where, as I just said, uh, many people have come out to support President Dilma Rousseff as she continues to struggle through tough economic times and also uh, the decline in her approval rating and also people protesting against her. Tonight we start off uh, joined with Rafael Schumann de Mora. He's from the Institute of Social and Political Studies in Rio de Janeiro. Hello, Rafael. Thanks so much uh, for joining us. Um, to start, uh, give, give us an update on what we were talking about there. What's currently happening in Brazil with those marches in favor uh, of President Rousseff? Uh, hello. First of all, first of all, I would like to 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 say that it's an honor to give an interview to Telesur. Uh, I would like to make a compliment for all the jobs that you do, presenting an alternative view of uh, of the news uh, to the world. And what I'm, uh, the rallies that happened today uh, about in defending the president Dilma Rousseff uh, are actually uh, part of a big answer to a, a attempt of a conservative agenda uh, that is are is going to be implemented on Brazil. Actually, uh, in this second term of Dilma Rousseff, uh, the Congress uh, changed a little bit of his composition, uh, of its composition, and actually uh, the conservative parties uh, grew in strength, and they are trying to implement a liberal agenda, uh, a conservative, a conservative agenda in many senses, uh, economically, uh, uh, taking off rights, uh, of labor rights, and a lot of things. And uh, and the worst part of all, they are trying to uh, to how how can I say? They are trying to dismantle the democratic institutions, trying to put a, 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 an impeachment, a movement of impeachment against President Dilma Rousseff. And the movements today, the rallies today, were a, a, a great mobilization of all the, the the unions of Brazil, the the, the biggest unions, the social movements. Uh, to to give an answer to that to that conservative agenda and to to affirm the defense of the president of the president's term and to and to oppose to the, this attempt to of implementing a liberal agenda in Brazil economically speaking so i think it, uh, i think that this is the biggest point here uh, actually in brazil we are having a big trouble because uh, we have the a lot of conservative forces are gathering and trying to, to, to dismantle and to subvert the democratic institutions. And they, they have uh, support of the Congress that is co to almost totally controlled by, by physiologist forces of the, the uh, mostly the PMDB, that is the uh, center party, and PSDB, that is a, a, a right-wing party. And these rallies are uh, an attempt of the government and of the social movements that support the government, Dilma Rousseff, to stand against all of these of these things and all of this uh, uh, all of this agenda and all of these ideas they are trying to implement and all this movement to 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 have an impeachment here in Brazil. Okay. That's a, a, a big overview of this movement today. Uh, it would be like something like that in okay. my opinion. Rafael, I wanted to ask you real uh, quickly here. Um, you're there in Brazil. So, so what's the mood uh, at the, this rally in support of Rousseff? You know, people who have supported uh, her and supported her party, are they worried about the situation there? Um, what's their mood? Uh, sorry, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear. Uh, I think we have a problem with the sound. Could you repeat once more, please? Sure, no problem. I'm, I'm wondering if you could tell us about the mood among supporters uh, of Rousseff at these rallies and supporters of the the Workers Party there in Brazil. Are they worried? What's the, what's their attitude? Okay, well. Uh, uh, actually, the worker parties, uh, the worker, the workers' party of Dilma Rousseff and of uh, former president uh, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva uh, got a lot, of, got uh, uh, much more weaker on the last election because uh, the economic situation uh, 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 actually uh, Brazil uh, is growing a little bit, uh, is growing less uh, in these last years, and then the, a little bit of the strength of the workers' party uh, uh, went away. And this last election, the Workers' Party got a little bit weakened, and the right-wing parties grew up in strength. 
So uh, uh, today we have a much more delicate and a much more uh, a weak scenario for the president to implement a, a positive agenda, to implement reforms, structural reforms, and then the, the Workers' Party is in an offensive position. It is trying to maintain the social, the, the social, uh, the social rights and the social, all the social uh, improvements that happened in the last decade. But it's, it's, it's having a lot of trouble because our Congress is uh, uh, almostly, it's almost entirely uh, dominated by physiologist forces supported by the, the biggest enterprises because our political system have a, 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 a terrible thing that is the private funding of campaigns, of political campaigns. So uh, this, this contributes to, to the Brazilian state being a little bit captured by the economic forces. So the Workers' Party is trying to mobilize uh, all the strengths and all the, the connections that it has with the social movements in a lot of in, in lo different fronts to uh, give strength to these rallies and to, to mobilize the people and the, and the mob to, to defend and uh, to understand the, the difficulties, but to, to support President Dilma Rousseff in a difficult scenario, in a scenario that they are trying to implement a, a impeachment and to destitute the president of, the, of, her, of her place without any legal reasoning. So I, I, I think that the, the, actually the Workers' Party is trying to, to react to all this conservative agenda and all these conservative movements that are happening right now. It's my opinion. Okay, Rafael uh, Schoenman, thanks so much for joining us from Brazil as we can